Men and women are crafted differently, biologically, emotionally, and psychologically, but with the same worth and dignity, both are designed for different purpose. But with same infinite capability, men and women should not strive to compete with each other, but rather to complement and serve one another. He is from Mars and she is from Venus. If they only try to understand the unique design of one another, they would meet ends on the earth, the perfect shelter for everyone. Adam was expected to lead and exemplify strength. With the sweat of his brows, the cornerstone of his home shall rise. While Eve endured the searing pain of childbirth, she has also exemplified strength. See, strength isn't just that moment when we show off the muscles from our arms, but it is the silent, courageous voice in our hearts when everything is lost. Both Eve and Adam were strong. The fall of men and women may be the most tragic day in the history, but it is also the story of how oil and water united to pursue the same purposes. To love, to complement, to protect, and to be the source of hope for other another. The race of Eve always think of the benefit of her family, even to the point of working together with her husband. With her own hands, she could also maneuver a bus, drive a tricycle, and even carry sacks of sand. With the capability of her mind, she can be a businesswoman, a lawyer, a teacher, or a social worker. She can also endure and excel on any work, making fields of discipline both for men and women. Never let any woman down because her capacity is limitless. Her worth surpasses what the world or the society says. At the end of her labor, her desire always stays on the benefit and protection of her family. Well, simply because that's how our maker designed her. To be a mother to her home, she is made for a meaningful purpose. Regardless of her circumstances, her beauty stays, simply because she is God's handicraft. And that's how we should look up to her, a beautiful masterpiece.